What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing the in-cabin air filter on my 2014 Toyota Tundra. This procedure will work from 2007 to 2021, so if your year is anywhere there, you can follow this and get to it. So what we need to do, it's pretty simple, is just open the glove box, and you wanna take all the stuff out. I went ahead and did that already. And the next part you wanna take out is this tray right here. And if you just lift up on it, it'll pop right out. There's just some clips on the bottom that, that are clipped into the glove box. So you can set that aside. And then we wanna get this part out of here right here. In this piece, you can just slide up for it to come out, just lift up on it and it should pop right out. And now we wanna get this cap off of the air filter. We could push these tabs on either side and it should pop off. And if it's just a little snug, you can use a screwdriver to just pop one side like that. And you can reach over and grab the other side and it comes right off. Now you can grab the air filter and pull it right out and uh, yeah, this one, <laughs> it's been quite a while since this has been changed. i got a leaf stuck on here. So this looks pretty bad. Let's compare it to a new filter. So here's a new filter. Obviously, it's much cleaner. So uh, what we want to do is go ahead and slide this in place, just like the other one was in there. And I'll put the part numbers in the description below. We just slide it right in the slot where the other one was sitting. Push all the way back. And then it's just a reverse of everything we had already done. Put this cap back on. Remember, this says up. So make sure you got that face in the right direction. You just place it on the front and it'll clip into place. Now this piece, again, it's got an arrow facing up. Push it inside and then you're gonna push down for it to clip into place. There we go, just like that. And the last piece is that tray that we had taken out at the beginning. And it's also, again, it's got clips on the bottom so you can just line it up in the holes. Push down, clip it in, now you're done. And as a bonus, let's go ahead and do the engine air filter while we're at it. And this is even easier to do than the in-cabin air filter. We'll just kind of go ahead and flip up this clip like that. Take it off of there. Same thing on the other side. Flip up the clip on the bottom, take that off. And then you can just lift up the box. And there's two little tabs in the back that just kind of hold this in. Just lift this up and then you can pull the filter out. Here's a little comparison of the filter that was in there and then the new filter. Again, I'll put the part number in the description below. So let's go ahead and put this new filter in place. We just lift up the air box lid and we can put this filter right back down inside where the other one sat. And then again, those tabs, those holes in the back are there's gonna be some tabs underneath the air filter lid that's gonna wanna clip inside there. And as you go to push this down, it'll kind of fall in place and it'll just line up. It almost just goes in place by itself. Again, we'll go ahead and put the clips on the side, latch that down. Same thing on this side, we'll just go ahead and latch this down, and there, that one's done. All right guys, that's an in-cabin air filter and an engine air filter on a 2007 to 2021 Tundra.